Hello and welcome to Ansible AWS series. In this video, I'm going to be integrating my Ansible inventory on AWS from GitLab. Well, to add some context here, inventory and inventory files are used to declare the managed node in the Ansible. So remember, in our previous video, we did an integration with GitLab where we got the Ansible playbook into the AWS platform. And this is a kind of extension for that video where I will demonstrate how to create an inventory on GitLab first and show some of the important steps required to do on AWS dashboard to import the inventory details. Of course, this is going to be helpful so that we can maintain a repository on GitLab or any other SSEM platform and have that repository imported to AWS platform where it contains the playbook and the inventory details. I hope you get the idea here. Let's see them in action. All right, the first thing we need to do is to create an inventory file on GitLab. So let's head over to the GitLab page here. Remember, we have created a project folder called AWS GitLab project. And we have a playbook called demo underscore playbook. We have tested in our previous video. So let's create a new file for the inventory. Let's keep, call it as GitLab underscore inventory. And this on the main branch, commit the changes. Let's open this on the ID. So I'm not going to be spending time on how to create an inventory file. So it's fairly straightforward. So here we have a group called routers where we have two hosts defined vios1 and vios2 along with its management ip address then we have the variable specified for the router group defining the connection as well as the os details so it's fairly straightforward so let's save this file commit commit to the main continue so we should have the inventory file created Let's head over to the repository, see if you can see the files. So that's the inventory creation on the GitLab for our lab network. Next, we'll jump into the AWS dashboard and understand the configuration we need to call for the inventory data we put on the GitLab. So here, the first step would be to create a project. So we already have a GitLab project created which is for pulling the playbook. So here, if you remember, we called GitLab project called AWS GitLab project. Then we have the private key defined. So we can continue to use this project or if you want to create a new project, you can have it. Let's save this file. Next thing what we are going to do is to create inventory. So to create the inventory, go to the inventories. Here you can have all the inventories. So here this is the static inventory we have created, which we have created manually, like the group and the host details. But now we are going to use the GitLab inventory. Let's see how to do that. First, let's click on add inventory. Then let's name the inventory as GitLab inventory. You can give the description, the organizations, doesn't matter and you can just save this file so once you save this file you can see a lot of details available over here we'll have group host sources jobs job templates so what we are going to do here is click on sources you need to add the new source so this should be gitlab underscore source so the here the important stuff is to define the source you have a drop down option where you can select different options. We are going to go with the source from the project. Click on it. Then it will ask the source details. What is the credential? What is your project? And what is your inventory files? So since we already have a project created by integrating SSH for the authentications, we already got the repository from GitLab to the AWS. We are using the same project for the inventory as well so we don't need to go with that one so we can see the project which is gitlab project then here 
if you click inventory file if you have specific file for us we have created a file called gitlab inventory let's go ahead and give that name our inventory is gitlab underscore inventory okay then if you want to have more logs created you can select the the verbose level here and update on launch then save this one select the value of the project so let's go with this one let's save this and sync it so it take a couple of seconds for to sync the database from gitlab to the AWX. so now you can see that it is turned to green it means that we got the information from the gitlab inventory so to test this let's go to the inventory again go to the gitlab inventory you can see a group called routers here click on it and you can see this connection method and the ios details which we have defined here the connection method and this one so we got the group variable populated from gitlab into the awx now let's look at the host details here you can also see host v ios 1 v ios 2 let's click on it and you see those host details like the ip address we have defined for this host so now we are good with inventory stuff here let's go to the template to run the jobs remember we have used cisco command in our previous demo let's click on it let's edit this one so here you can see that we have the playbook defined along with execution environment from our previous video now we can modify the inventory details so i'm going to select gitlab inventory and the playbook is going to be demo underscore playbook and we all have the credentials for the device login defined let's save this one and let's launch to see if the playbook is running with the new inventory we got from the gitlab this may take a while to run it so to summarize we have the existing project that had created for the gitlab integrations and if you don't have one then we can create one then we connected that project with our inventory after the sync we got the host details and populated with the group information along with its associated variables after that we have stitched together in the job template so this is what we have done so far in this demo and if you have any questions please put it in the comment section below so let's check the job status now so here you can see that the playbook did not run so let's go down to the error message it says network os cisco.ios.ios what is this so there's a square bracket over here is not supported okay so i think we have some problem with the variables we have passed there's a typo over there so what we need to do now is to go to gitlab inventory file oh there's a square bracket here which is got populated from gitlab to the awx so let's remove that one save this change commit this change and we should be good to go so now we have the inventory database corrected on gitlab so let's go to awx dashboard here go to inventories select gitlab inventories then go to sources so here you see the gitlab source which we have created for this video then give start sync process it's trying to sync with the gitlab now so here the sync process is successful let's go to the groups and we don't see that additional character anymore so we are good with the inventory part finally let's touch the template go to the cisco commands and let's edit this one to make sure that we have the right inventory so, so we have the gitlab inventory here let's save this one launch it so you can see here that uh, the playbook start running it's 
checked uh, VIOS 2 the first uh, router then it ran this command we got the output of the first command along the result of the second one and this is the result from the VIOS 1 and uh, its output result so we don't have any errors after correcting the inventory from the GitLab so one thing I would like to point out here is that whenever we import the inventory from the GitLab those hosts will be shown as imported as you can see here so with that I want to thank you for watching and please try to build the lab to learn these technologies and let me know if you come across with any problems and if you're watching this channel first time don't forget to subscribe and I will be uploading videos very frequently so press the bell icon not to miss any future videos with that i'll wrap up this video and see you on the next one